the dreaded 4000 watch hours, the very first thing all new YouTube channels must achieve in order to join the YouTube Partner Program and get monetized, along with the 1000 subscribers of course. But that's not what we're here for today. This video is to talk about how to get 4000 watch hours fast, which can be quite difficult, especially when you're just getting started. Hey look, I'm no stranger to this 4000 watch hours. In fact, to me, I find getting those 4000 watch hours a lot more difficult than getting my first 1000 subscribers. And did you also know that you need to get 4000 watch hours in the last 12 months? It took me 18 months. So what happened here is my first six months worth of watch hours just went down the drain. They are not counted towards my 4,000 watch hours. But fortunately for me, I just started my YouTube channel. So the first six months worth of watch hours is really not that much. While it took me over 18 months to achieve this, Things only started to pick up in September last year, which is about 7 months ago from this video. And I only managed to do it once I figured out a few tricks and actions I can take in order to grow those watch hours. So check this out. My watch hours started off really low at the start of my journey. And then around November, things started to pick up a little. But this growth is because I tried running ads on my videos, which turns out to be quite disastrous because based on the analytics, it looks like I'm getting those watch hours. but in reality, watch hours coming from ads do not count. So these are all wasted. And then you see a small little dip here in January when I stop ads. But after a week or so, I started running ads again because those low views were affecting me mentally. But I know this isn't good. This isn't healthy. So I stopped running ads again around May. That's when my views dipped again and I started taking my channel more seriously. I worked on those organic views and tried to get my watch hours up. And I managed to do that after applying a few actionable items on my videos. As you can see here, my watch hours started climbing back up again and that's how I achieved my 4000 watch hours. So there must be something I did correctly that caused those spike in watch hours, am I right? Well, if you think about it, if you want to get more watch hours, you only need to achieve two things. You either get your viewers to watch your videos a lot longer or you get more views. But we all know that's easier said than done and that's exactly what I went through when I first started my YouTube channel. I've tried all sorts of tips and tricks and strategies and 9 out of 10, they do not work. So today I want to share with you some really simple things you can do on your YouTube channel regardless of your niche. Here it goes. Number one, publish consistently on your channel. When I say consistently, I mean uploading a video at least once a week, preferably twice a week, but you can start with one if you find it hard to do two a week. You gain three benefits for publishing often. First, you start to build up a collection of videos for YouTube to understand what your channel is about. Second, you will know if your niche works. And third, you increase the chances of YouTube pushing your video, thus leading to more views. If you want to get four thousand watch hours fast, publishing more videos will help you get there because the views add up. So the more you create, the more views you get. Of course, some video may die off, some may survive, and some may even take off and blow up your YouTube channel easily. But as long as you continue creating, you're essentially creating more chances for yourself. Apart from that, each time you launch a new video, there will be a small boost in terms of views and watch hours because YouTube tend to push new videos in the first 48 hours after they are launched. So if you do the calculation, your views will hardly drop if you publish a new video every 48 hours. Now, doing all of this also helps you identify one key point, which is my next point. Number two, getting to know your audience and producing what your audience wants. First, let me share with you what happens to my YouTube channel because it was a roller coaster ride before I finally settled on this niche. When I first started my channel, I never did think about talking about how to run a YouTube channel. Instead, I wanted to talk about personal development and side hustles. But as I continued to create more of personal development videos and side hustle videos, I realized no one is watching and I don't know why, maybe because I lack the authority. So I started complaining about YouTube and that gained a little bit of traction. But soon, I don't see myself doing that because again, I don't think I'm qualified for this. Plus, I wanted my video to contain a message I want to send and talking about YouTube wouldn't get me there. So I changed my niche again, this time talking about jobs. And that too almost destroyed my YouTube channel. 
And in the end, I decided to go back to talking about YouTube. Okay, I hope you got the message I'm trying to tell you, but if you don't, basically what I'm saying is if you found a niche that works for you, but it is not your preferred choice, don't self-sabotage. If you found an audience who are interested in what you have to say, even though it is not your preferred niche, stick with it for now and just produce videos that your viewers want to watch first. Because these viewers will eventually turn to subscribers and these subscribers will help you gain those watch hours because they are the ones who will be watching your new videos and help you out. So build up your community first, give them what they want to watch and if you still want to send your message through your videos, then add them at the end of the video or something. I'll give you a short example, a traveling channel. If you realize your viewers enjoys watching videos on Italy, then do more videos about traveling in Italy instead of Canada. No offense to my fellow Canadian viewers. But apart from just producing those videos, try your best to get your viewers to be invested in you as well. Show some personality, be genuine, be authentic, so that when you run out of ideas on Italy, you can start doing videos on Canada and your subscribers will still continue watching because they're watching you. I hope you get those points because getting to 4,000 watch hours, sometimes it isn't how fast you get to those numbers, but how fast you build your audience to become returning viewers. Never underestimate the power of the people. Okay, here's a bonus question. Do you still need to maintain that 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months after you join the YouTube Partner Program after you get monetized? Short answer, no, you don't have to. But my advice to you is do not stop uploading consistently and continue to engage with your audience to build up your community. To be honest, that's all YouTube is about. You upload, you get new viewers, you interact, you get them interested. That's it. And frankly speaking, those 4,000 watch hours is a way for YouTube to get you started, to let you understand what it takes to be a YouTuber. You still need to upload consistently in order to satisfy the YouTube algorithm because if you don't, your views will drop. And if your views drop, your revenue drops as well. And not forgetting, YouTube does require you to continue to upload new videos. Otherwise, they'll review your channel and if your channel no longer meets their requirements, they can remove you from their YouTube Partner Pro program and you'll have to start all over again. But of course, once you have reached 4,000 watch hours, you will feel a little bit more relaxed because watch hours isn't something you need to worry about as much anymore. So that's the good part because now you can choose to upload maybe once a week instead of twice a week or instead of every day. You will have more control this time around so it will be less stressful. But just remember, less upload means less views means less money for you. And I want you to focus on the word control. This is your channel, so at no stage should you pressure yourself to create videos when you don't feel like it. If you're ready for your 4,000 watch hours, then you're ready for monetization as well. So I highly suggest you check out this video here to understand what you can prepare right now so that you can get monetized in two days as soon as you hit 4,000 watch hours. All right, that's it from me. Thumbs up, sub if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.